Welcome to the Prepare Like a Pro live chat Sunday show. My name is Jack McLean. I am your host. And on this episode, I'll update you on all things Prepare Like a Pro, including our live interviews that we host every week, Thursday at 8.30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, and our podcast that releases on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Fridays. We have a power tip for those that tune in and listen to the recording at the very end. Today will be on post-activation potentiation. So for the athletes tuning in, how to improve your power performance in the gym to help your fend-off ability and jumping ability on the field. Let's get straight into it. This is also a recording. So for those listening in live, I'm recording this on Friday as I'm going to Tasmania for the weekend. So wasn't able to do the usual recording live at 6 p.m. So for anyone sending in your questions via the chat box, uh, apologies for not being able to answer your questions. I'll look at it and get back to you either direct message or during our next coaching session. Hey guys, it's Sean Baker from the Peak Performance Centre here. We're South Australia's premier high performance facility available to the public. Uh, currently, I head up at SNC for men's and women's Australian lacrosse. Previously, I worked in AFLW, AFL Development, The Sample, and a bit of international cricket. I'm really excited to be presenting on Prepare Like a Pro this Thursday night. Pumped up to be talking to Jacko. Uh, I'm going to be talking about creating a systematic approach to programming for a private facility. So, how do you create a system that can ensure you've got consistency throughout coaches while still providing them the opportunity to give them their own little bit of flair as well. So guys, get excited. I'll see you there Thursday, and thank you for the opportunity to chat there, Jack. But for this week, we have Luke Meehan on the Tuesday episode that will be released. That was a fantastic interview. We just we, uh, basically talked around his career journey. He's worked in the industry for nearly 20 years across Geelong Football Club under Loris Bertolacci, where he did an internship and worked his way into a part-time role there. He then moved over to Western Bulldogs for six years, working as a strength and conditioning coach and got the opportunity for a full-time role there and maintained it over six years. And then has worked his way up at Richmond Football Club and is currently the head strength and conditioning coach looking after the strength and power program there. And uh, it was a great interview on how to um, work in the field of high-performance sport, the importance of working out what you're passionate about. Uh, Luke discussed how it didn't come easy for him early days. He wasn't too sure what career path he wanted, but once he discovered sport through Loris, a mentor, he um, quickly found how passionate he was for it and how hard he was willing to, to work, and clearly it's set him up for a successful career, not only his mentors, but his, his work ethic, so. What's up everyone, it's Coach Mike here from Melbourne Fitness and Performance. I'm excited to jump on the next live webinar series with Prepare Like a Pro with some other amazing professionals to discuss all things high performance training facilities here in Australia. I'm also excited to share some insights into my favorite topic, junior athlete performance. So if this sounds like something you want to listen to and learn about, Jump on board the next webinar series on the 24th of February, and I'll see you there at 8.30 p.m. Peace out. For all the strength and conditioning coaches, make sure to tune into this one. Uh, there's heaps of gems and practical tips that you can take, I don't know, from a philosophy point of view, using the, like, the conduit system, but also um, how to get into the industry and, and maintain a successful career in the AFL environment. As well as the athletes, uh, Luke discusses some uh, key areas to focus on and how important things like mobility and flexibility are, even though they're commonly overlooked and something that he's noticed over his years uh, working in the industry, that it's those little 1% things that can um, really pay dividends later on in your career. And athletes, when they look back, wish they did a little bit more in that space. So for the young athletes listening to developing athletes, start doing some yoga and Pilates work, or even just get the foam roller and, and stretching and, and listen to this episode this episode to get some inspiration on how important that that work is. Hey guys, my name is Darren McInnes. I am the founder and director at Core Advantage Athletic Development. Uh, we're a company that train over 200 athletes across 20 plus sports, work in various uh, school programs and sporting organisations. Uh, I'm going to be talking at the Prepare Like a Pro event. All about increasing your surface area for luck. A uh, super important concept applies in sport, life and business. And I look forward to seeing you guys then. Our Get Better plan for this week will be why you need to avoid easy, quick wins and work hard to win big later. So applicable for business owners, coaches, 
as well as athletes. So make sure to tune in. We release an educational uh, presentation on our podcast every Wednesday. They come from our Sunday live uh, presentations that I do with all the athletes on our program every Sunday at 5 p.m., discussing a topic for 15 to 20 minutes and then hanging around for questions. And majority of that presentation I record and um, post in our podcast for our podcast listeners. Hi hey everyone, Jared Kay here. I'm the owner of the Six Principle and the Speed Project. Looking forward to having a chat with you all about how to implement speed training into your athletes' weekly schedules, navigate their sport training and the gym training as well, and how we put that all together in their weekly schedule. Looking forward to it, can't wait. Thursday, we have our second live collaborative event. Super excited for this one. We have eight uh, gym owners that work in the high performance environment, specifically focusing on athlete development in the private sector. So, uh, absolute pleasure to have all these household names on at one time. It'll be on at 8 30 p.m. Australian Eastern Standard Time, our standard Thursday Prepare Like a Pro Live Chat show where you can watch it on YouTube. And basically, it'll be a bite sized interview like we did with the sports dietitian. So, if you listen to that one, it'll be exactly the same forum where it'll be almost like a workshop where I'll interview each guest on a specific topic, which I'll read out in a second on what each guest is presenting on, and that'll go for between anywhere between five and ten minutes, and then uh, the recording will be turned into podcast episodes. So hang around. At the very end, we'll have a uh, live Q&A um, for about five minutes or so. So for those listening in live, you'll be able to ask these guests questions. So really, really um Great opportunity, not only for athletes to pick these experts' brains, but also strength and conditioning coaches that want to work in high-performance environments in the private sector. G'day guys, Lockie Wilmot here from Athletes Authority. Just wanted to give you a heads up that next Thursday, we are going to be jumping on a live event. I'll be on Prepare Like a Pro, and it's going to be a high-performance event for the private sector here in Australia. There's going to be a number of guests they're going to be talking about the private industry, all facility owners talking about their pros and cons of it, how it relates to all the athletes that we're dealing with in the Australian sector, but also the future of the private sector and how we're actually accommodating our business models and everything we're doing in between. So I'm very excited to jump on. That's Prepare Like a Pro next Thursday. Looking forward to answering any questions. The demand in this area is evolving and uh, it's a field that's growing rapidly. So I think this forum could be an awesome way to present emerging practices data to a greater audience. So that's why we're doing this all in one um, podcast. We have Chris Perkin, the director of the West Coast Health and High Performance. He'll be discussing how to best combine technology to assist with injury prevention and performance. Sean Baker, founder of Peak Performance Centre, creating a systematic approach to programming for a private high performance facility. Christian Woodford, Director of Woodford Sports Science Consulting. He'll be discussing creating brand awareness and coaching athletes in a crowded industry, how important it is to stand out. Jared Kay, founder of The Sixth Principle and The Speed Project. He'll be discussing layering sprint training with a gym program in the midst of training for a sport. Chris Radford, founder of Rad Centre. He's uh, going to get back to us on his topic, so that's to be to be confirmed. I'll post that on our socials as soon as we know. Darren McInnes, founder of Core Advantage, increasing your surface area for luck. So that he's mentioned this is applicable for business owners as well as athletes. Lachlan Wilmot, co-founder of Athletes Authority. He'll be discussing the pros and cons of managing a high-performance facility as well as focuses um, within their facility in their internship program for a strength initiative point of view, but also how they work with athletes in the private sector. Michael Crichton, co-owner of Melbourne Fitness and Performance, discussing junior athlete development. And to listen into this episode live, all you need to do is subscribe to our YouTube channel. You'll see uh, when you scroll down, this is an event that you can attend. So click attend for a reminder and we'll um, be going live at 8.30 p.m. on the 24th of February, 2022. Hi guys, my name's Chris Perkin. Uh, I'm a specialist sports physio and I've been working at the West Coast Eagles for the last 18 years. Now my role is very part-time there, but also director of the company uh, linked with the club called West Coast Health and High Performance. So look forward to talking to you um, next week uh, on Prepare Like a Pro about uh, how we maybe use the technology we've got in these high performance centres, uh, including the Biodex, uh, Dexas, scan, VO2 max, uh, woodway treadmills, force platforms uh, and everything else and how we combine that with our clinical decision making 
in clinical assessments uh, to help best prevent injury, return to sport and of course improve performance which is our overall goal with our athletes. So uh, look forward to chatting next week and uh, handing over any tips I can pass through. Uh, see you soon. Our Friday podcast for this week will be our bite-sized interview with Jess Spenlove talking about game day preparation, both leading up to game day, but also recovery, preparing for the next game from a nutrition point of view. So for those wanting to increase your nutrition for sports performance, make sure to listen to Friday's episode. Our power tip for this week Like I mentioned, focusing on post-activation potentiation, how we can effectively use this in the gym, not only to save time with athletes, but also to improve their power performance and and really increase their velocity in the gym. And that's to simply superset a heavy lift with a velocity-based movement. We want to try and replicate the pattern of movement as, as specific as possible. So an example of this will be a back squat, heavy back squat, where you're moving quite slowly, but you're lifting heavy load, so working on your force production with a box jump, okay? So similar movement pattern where the box jump, um, it's body weight and you're trying to move as fast as possible in the vertical plane. Deadlift with a broad jump, same sort of thing, focusing mainly on hip extension, that horizontal force production with a broad jump, similar movement pattern. The key here is that you do the heavy lift first and then you go straight into the explosive movement and you're, trying, you're having the intent with every rep to move as fast as possible with the, with the explosive movement. Hi, it's Tim Schlager here, Director of the Sports Clinic of Melbourne here in Haran. I'm looking forward this Thursday night to appearing with Jack McLean from Prepare Like a Pro Podcasts, where we'll be talking on a symposium on all things high performance sport. There's a fantastic range of speakers he's organised. On the night, what I'll be focusing on and talking about is finding the perfect marriage and that sweet spot between high performance strength and conditioning and physiotherapy services we'll see you thursday night a heavy bench press with smith machine bench throws weighted chin-ups with power chins heavy bench pull row with a banded bench pull so these exercises there's a common trend there we're mimicking the movement pattern we're moving heavy and then we're moving straight into a movement where we're moving fast for exercise technique on how to perform these exercises head to our youtube playlist the power training link, which we'll add in the show notes. I'll see you guys on the next episode. Make sure to subscribe and follow the YouTube channel for new exercises and educational content every week. And if you could give us a review on our podcast, that would be greatly appreciated. It helps us in reaching more people and and ultimately helping and growing our online community.